Hey everybody, it's your old pal Sam. With Halloween just around the corner, I thought today would be the perfect day to do an instructional video teaching you how to make a jack o lantern all right? Step one, once you've picked your pumpkin, make sure you wait until it separates itself from the rest of the herd, all right? Then make sure to kill it as quickly and quietly as possible so as not to alert the other pumpkins in the patch. Nothing but dreams now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I found I found this little baby on my neighbor's doorstep. Well, well, actually, I discovered it on Columbus Day, and by the rules of Columbus Day, I now own it. That's how it works, because I discovered it. <laughs> anyway. Step two, field dressing the pumpkin is important, so be careful and thorough. Get all the goop and little seeds and stuff out of there. God, oh, it's so cold and wet. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, it's like I got my hands in the corpse of the fifth Spice Girl pumpkin. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 it's all under my fingernails. Oh, it's in my fur. Oh. Now, 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 here's a pro tip. A lot of people want to go through the top. No, 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 no. Pro tip, you go up through the bottom. Go up through the bottom, all right? Now, that's going to make it easier when you got to put a candle inside there. And, and, it's going to make sure the top doesn't collapse on you if you leave, if you leave it up for a while, you know? Sometimes the, the, the top will just sort of fall inside, okay? So act like you're, like you're, like you're an alien doing a cattle mutilation and just core it up right through the butthole. <laughs> Step three. You're going to want to carve a scary face into the surface of the pumpkin. Now, I already did mine. I want the scariest face I could think of, and that was uh, Lady Elaine Fairchild from Mr. Rogers. Yeah, she seriously, she haunts my nightmares. Yeah, yeah. She looks like a homicidal Rod Stewart dressed up in your aunt's clothes and the rosacea on her nose and cheeks. Well, that's just clear telltale signs of someone abusing alcohol and attempt to drink away the screams and the voices in her head, you know? That museum go round of hers, I guarantee that sucker runs on blood. All right, step four. Place a candle inside the jack-o'-lantern. There we go. Sucker's heavy. Now probably display it outside your house. All right, for the five minutes it takes for the neighborhood kids to find it and smash the shit out of it, or until like, I don't know, like February, whenever you, you discover it under the snow and realize you gotta throw that stupid thing away and it's frozen solid. It's probably like stuck to the to the floorboards of your of your front steps and stuff. You know whatever, whatever you know whatever whatever floats your boat, man. All right there we go. Happy Halloween, everybody. See you around. Wait 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 wait. Sorry sorry. We forgot the last step. Clean up. Step number five. That's just as important as the rest of the stuff. You know, any any project is worth cleaning up and doing a good job afterwards. You know. So I'm gonna start with uh, start with my cutting board here, and then we're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna clean this up. Oh my god! Have I been carving pumpkins on top of a Ouija board this whole time? Oh my god! Oh my god! I mean that's not gonna come back to haunt us, is it? Does anyone know? Does, does... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's creeping me out, man. <laughs>